Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has facilitated the delivery of new surveillance gear from the government of Taiwan to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Our policies are multifaceted. Enforcement, vehicles to the police, equipment, support in intelligence. So I want to tell the public of St. Lucia, do not get diverted. Do not lose focus. Let us continue to support the police. Let us continue to be good citizens. Let us continue to give the information that we have so that we all can feel safer in St. Lucia. On June 26, Taiwan Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, officially handed over a consignment of body cameras and dashboard cameras to the acting commissioner of police. This donation could not have been timelier. The organization has realized the role of technology in law enforcement and as such have partnered with various stakeholders and government, governmental agencies to embark on several initiatives to include the introduction of modern day practices during service delivery to the people of St. Lucia. Policing is challenging, but allocating the right resources will ensure that officers remain steadfast in their commitment to protect and serve. The implementation of body one or vehicle mounted audio or video systems by the Royal Central Police Force has been long overdue. We are of the astute belief that this initiative will assist in bolstering public perception and building up its public image. The inclusion of those tools in our policing strategy will encourage ethical behaviors by both police officers and members of the community. The new tech from Taiwan further strengthens the tactical capabilities of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Public security requires huge investment in terms of equipment and training of frontline personnel. As we acknowledge, the police plays a critical role in maintaining order and ensuring public safety. We also have to recognize the hardware and capability they equipped should be equally important. Approximately $45 million has been committed to strengthening St. Lucia's national security apparatus since Prime Minister Pierre came to office in 2021. To date, the government of St. Lucia has delivered more than 25 new patrol vehicles to the police force, signed two build-own lease transfer agreements with the National Insurance Property Development and Management Company to construct the Northern Divisional Police Headquarters and renovate the V4 Police Station, finalized the Custody Suites project, and reinstated the training vote to ensure members of the police force get access to capacity building programs. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.